We're going to cover the topic that was in the book uh, for men only, the subtitle being A Straightforward Guide to the Inner Lives of Women. And already I know that a bunch of guys are going, yeah, right, <laughs> straightforward guide. So let's, uh, let me give you a little bit of the background at how that book came about. First, it was, you know, there was the success of the four women only. Shanti kept hearing from women all around the country when she would speak on it. Yeah, okay, you're telling us what we need to know and do. Uh, when are you going to even up the score? So the publisher actually approached both of us and said, how would you guys like to write the other book? Now, I'm a lawyer by training, not an author. So I had a couple of hesitations. One was, you know, what if it didn't do very well? You know, I'm the additional link on this thing, so <clears throat> let's move on. Let's move on. Next subject. Which well, is kind of a fun one, and it seems to be incredibly strange to us guys. <laughs> because Are you saying we're strange? No, no, the subject is strange. Most of us guys, if we are pressed, we might say that our wives or girlfriends really seem emotional and sometimes flighty in that huh? lots of, we're talking about one thing and five other things come into the conversation that we weren't talking about or something that you thought was gone and over years ago comes back. What's up with that? <laughs> All right, here's what's up with that. The way we describe this is the difference between the way that men and women process thoughts and emotions. See, you men, the, way, the analogy we use is think of a computer screen, okay? Think of a, like a Windows, your windows are open, and a guy's brain, the way he processes, it's like you've got one window open at a time, and you're working on that one window, and you kind of do whatever it is you're doing. You click the X, you close it, you move on to the next window. That's the way you guys work. Very but, efficient and logical, Absolutely. <laughs> Well, the one thing that you need to know about us as women is that we women, we're like a computer desktop with like 10 windows open all at once. And we're bouncing back and forth between all those windows all at the same time. The whole idea of one thing at a time, we have all this stuff going on in our brains all at once. And here's where I tend to get in a little bit of trouble, but I'll say it anyway. And it's almost like their desktop has be also been infected with some sort of spyware or adware. So they're not only with ten windows open at the same time, but another window pops up with this advertisement for something. She clicks the X, and it goes away, and it pops back up. And she can't get rid of it. We basically, we women, have these, I, these thoughts and these concerns that pop up on the screen of our mind in addition to the other ten things we were already worried about. And we can't just not think about them. And that's the issue that is the most critical for you guys to realize. Because when you have a concern and it's bothering you and you're trying to think about something else, what do you do? Click the X. Click the X. It's gone. You just don't think about it. Now, what's the most common thing when your wife or your fiancé or your girlfriend brings you a concern that maybe has been brought several times to you and, and she comes back with it, you're, and you, you don't think it's very productive to keep harping on it, you're most likely to say, just don't think about it. Just don't think about it. Just don't let it bother you. And we women are like... It's, it's foreign to them. For example... What does it mean? We, we learned early on in our marriage, and actually it, it you know, made a little more sense as we were going through the research for this, but early on, we'd be, I'd be sitting on the couch in our little apartment in New York, and Shanti would be sitting at the other side, and she'd go, so what are you thinking? And, you know, either sitting on the couch or I'm driving, and what's the guy's response? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she thought I was embarrassed to share what I was thinking about. She thought, you know, he just doesn't want to share his feelings with me. And the bottom line really was, ladies, there's nothing going on. I'm sitting there. It's, it's wonderfully relaxing, by the way. It's as if the screensaver is up on the computer. There's power going, but there is no activity at all. And that's exactly what it feels like. 
She has no idea, and probably your wives out here have no idea what that state of being is like.